Women philosophers stretches as long as the history of philosophy itself. Well, I think it depends which philosophical canon we're talking about. First of all, I'm an early modernist, so let me talk about that. Um, the, the big three women for me are Anne Conway, Margaret Cavendish, and Elizabeth Bohemia, because they made interesting contributions and challenging contributions to the philosophy of their time. Yeah, certainly, because women's philosophical voice is significantly different in the sense that it brings out very different bodily experience different experiences of being discriminated and it establishes a case for right to equality in all circumstances which becomes very important to re-establish humanity in difficult contexts of life. I'm associate professor at the University of Copenhagen. Um, in Copenhagen we have quite a decent group of uh, philosophers. I'm the only one dedicated to the history of women philosophers. We started um, to investigate the past. I just uh, uh, recently uh, received a grant uh, for investigation. The project is called Archaeology of the Female Intellectual Identity. And one of the main figures there uh, will be Birgitta Todd. Um, uh, a Danish philosopher. So I judge the history of women philosophers to be a critical means to revise the history of philosophy. The situation in my country is not so much different than in other countries. We do have uh, women in academia in many fields, in law, in sociology, in education and so on. But unfortunately, uh, in the field of philosophy, uh, we are still a, a terrible minority. And this is something that needs a, a, a serious change and reconsideration. Ask the questions if we can change the canon and uh, if we perhaps even could replace women instead of men reading. I have to tell you there are many, many texts from women philosophers that tackle topics which have not become the topic of philosophy up to now. And I think it's absolutely necessary to include these women and to canonize many, many topics. Of course, as we hope for the better of the state and society. Ja, zum ersten Mal hier und ich freue mich wirklich, dass Frau Hakengruber mich eingeladen hat. Das ist einfach von der Atmosphäre her sehr offen, äh, kommunikativ. Es gibt genügend Pausen, sodass man wirklich immer wieder auch einfach so zwischendurch sprechen kann. Well, my impressions on the Ligori Summer School so far are the best ones. It's a great opportunity gathering people from all over the world, discussing the works of women philosophers throughout the history. I hope the Paderborn spirit goes all over the world and we can gather more people and bring more diversity to the meeting and to the summer schools in the years to come. It's very nice to know 
uh, how you do the digital humanities, I was pretty much amazed to see the uh, video and that quality and uh, so I was uh, really uh, interested to know how you produce and operate this uh, project. I'm delighted to announce that by unanimous agreement we have decided to honour Mary Ellen Waite. I beg all of you to never stop asking the right questions and to continue to introduce the next generation of scholars to their mothers. Your certificate is only a piece of paper, but as we know, the piece of paper can have an incredible symbolic value. Success. We have got the impression that now the things are spreading and going all over the world and that wonderful networks will emerge from the conference.